site for a night. Hey everyone, and welcome back to your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. This week's episode is being brought to us by the fine people at Masthof Press. Now, you've heard me talk about Masthof Press before. I've sent you in their direction for books and things like that. They are a great family-owned company in business since 1982 as a both a press for uh, authors of self-publishing their own books, which I have utilized. They've published my books, and their bookstore really caters to all things Pennsylvania Dutch, Mennonite, history, uh, and genealogy. So if you're into genealogy, please check out their website as well. They have tons of really cool things that can help you. One of my favorite things that I purchased from them is a 10 generational fan chart that you could fill in your family history, uh, names and such. Uh, so check them out. Really cool stuff. Masthof.com. Give them a shout. And if you end up getting in touch with them, tell them that I sent you. So thanks again to the continued support of the fine people, Lori and Dan at Masthof Press. All right, this week I'm coming to you with some more books. Uh, that's why I wanted Masthof to use them today. Two more books. In previous videos, I have suggested titles for you guys to check out if you're interested in learning more about Pennsylvania Dutch fan, uh, culture, history, language. Uh, and today I want to come with two more. So uh, one deals with food and one deals with uh, a part of our culture that we've talked about before, powwowing. But let's talk about book number one, uh, Sauerkraut Yankees. Pennsylvania Dutch Foods and Foodways, uh, and this is by William Weiss Weaver. I have featured him before in his other book, As American as Shoe Fly Pie. That book, if you remember, takes a look at uh, Pennsylvania Dutch food culture as a whole, the history, uh, why we eat some of the things that we eat, where they come from historically. This book is a little bit different. This one came out uh, before that, uh, American as Shoe Fly Pie. And if you would indulge me, let me just read a little bit from the jacket uh, to give you a better idea of what this book is all about. Weaver took an original cookbook that was published in 1848 known as The Handy Housewife, which was in Pennsylvania Dutch, Die Geschichte Hausfrau. Um, it was actually published, it wasn't in the Pennsylvania Dutch language, it was in Pennsylvania uh, High German, which was a type of German being spoken and printed in at the time in the in the mid-1800s. Anyway, it was a cookbook. Uh, it was the first, in fact, I want to say this, it was. Uh, it is one of the first truly ethnic cookbooks to appear in America, creating a new book from an old one, author William Moise Weaver translated the recipes from the Geschichte Hausfrau and rearranged them into chapters headed with his own insightful introductory comments. What's really cool about this book is that, as, as I just said, he takes this old cookbook uh, full of these old recipes that were popular at the time in the mid-1800s among the Pennsylvania Dutch, translates them, of course, so that you can understand them, but then also gives historical context and information about the recipes. Uh, it, it's fascinating. Um... It's a great read, whether you're into cooking or not. I think we all can agree that Pennsylvania Dutch food is one of the most popular things that keeps all of us in our culture alive. Um, if you look on Facebook, the thing that people talk about the most is the food that they're eating in regards to Pennsylvania Dutch stuff. So uh, this is a great book. I'll put a link down below uh, where you can purchase the book. Uh, it's a great read. It's really interesting and really insightful. So thanks, William Moise Weaver, for your continued contributions to uh, the food aspect of Pennsylvania Dutch culture. The other book I'd like to recommend uh, is by my good friend Patrick J. Dunmoyer. I've talked about him before as well. He's currently the director of the Pennsylvania German Cultural Heritage Center at Kutztown University. So check him out there. Uh, once COVID and all that is over, you can go to their events. He has done a lot of writing on other aspects of the Pennsylvania Dutch. Particularly, he has uh, concentrated on his on barn stars, hex signs, and on powwowing. Uh, powwowing is we've done videos on that before, kind of going over you know what powwowing is. Some of you. You have uh, direct links to powwowing, whether your great grandmother or your grandfather were powwowers, or you had a relative that was powwowed. <laughs> uh, this or this traditional uh, ritual healing, so forth. So Patrick's new book is powwowing in Pennsylvania, Brauherei. That's the Pennsylvania Dutch word for powwowing, and the ritual of everyday life. This is a thorough, thorough examination of all aspects of powwowing. Uh, the history, the, uh, you know, how it came about, uh, why the Pennsylvania Dutch did it. The, what's really great about this book, and Patrick really did his homework, I mean, really, really well. It is full of firsthand accounts, pictures, um, uh, 
going back to texts from from Europe, uh, and you can see the influence of European ideology into this uh, into this study. Um, it is just it's thorough. Uh, I mean, in the end, it comes down to how many pages is it? Let me just uh, without the index, it is. 305 pages and you might think oh man that sounds pretty dry uh for an academic look at something i find this to be very readable um so if you've ever wanted to learn more about powwowing um this is by far the book to get i'll also put a link for it down below in the comment section uh or in in the about section for the video both books are reasonably priced um great things to add to your library they would also make great gifts if you know someone that's really big into pennsylvania dutch food or cooking sauerkraut yankees is a great gift if you know someone that's into powwowing or is finds that kind of in that that theme interesting powwowing in Pennsylvania, a great gift, or just for your own personal learning benefit or adding to your Pennsylvania Dutch shelf in your library, two great books that I highly recommend. Again, thanks to Masthof Press for their continued support of all that we do in Pennsylvania Dutch. Check out these two books. William Moyce Weaver and Patrick Dunmoyer are continually working hard at maintaining and preserving our culture, uh, and we, we applaud them for doing that. If you have an idea for a future video, email me. I'll uh, I'll answer for sure. I'm always looking for new ideas. The bag of ideas is getting a little empty right now. Um, so shoot me something your way. Also, in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, well, you have to do that, uh, please. Uh, and then you'll get an update every time a new episode comes out. Also, as a side note, uh, I have started a side project. I started my own podcast. This has nothing to do with Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, however, um, there are Pennsylvania Dutch guests on from time to time. Please feel free to check out Doug's Front Porch. It's a new conversational podcast that I started a couple months ago. Two episodes come out every month on the 1st and the 15th of the month. And it's a conversational-based podcast where I sit down with friends, old and new, and just talk about things. Uh, I have had some Pennsylvania Dutch-themed guests on before, and I will in the future as well. Um, and it's all in English, so no worries about not understanding Pennsylvania Dutch. Uh, it's available wherever you get your podcasts from, Apple, Apple, uh, so iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you get your your uh, iTunes, uh, wherever you get your iTunes, wherever you get your podcasts from, check out Doug's Front Porch. And I also, as a presence on social media, there's a Facebook page, a Twitter account, and also an Instagram as well. Just search for Doug's Front Porch. I think you'll enjoy it. I've had some really good reviews so far, and it's just fun to be able to talk to people and have honest conversation. Uh, I think that's what's lacking a lot in our in our current society right now. Instead of yelling at each other. Let's talk. So check out Doug's Front Porch. And also check out all the other videos I have posted here on, on my YouTube channel so that you can enrich your Pennsylvania Dutch experience. Keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch. Be proud of who we are. We have a great history, culture, language to be proud of. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And mox good. Mox good.